How's it going everyone? This is Mr. Morales. So today we're going to be looking at program 2 and we are going to be saving user input into variables or into a variable. So this program is different from our Hello World program. Uh, as you can see there's a few things that are different. Well obviously the title is different but now the main thing that's different is you have an input box. So what I want to do is I want to I want everybody to create I want people to create an input box. You're going to type your name and then you're going to click submit and your output will be a message along with the name that was inputted into the input box into the text box I should say. You should be also be able to clear both areas. So let's take a look at the code and see how we can solve this problem. First of all we have our file on the desktop. We're going to change the name of our file because it's last name, first name, program two, so we're going to change the name. Change it to your last name, your first name, followed by program two. Next you want to edit your file using either the program Atom or Notepad++. Okay, so what I, what I like to do is I like to right click and then edit with Notepad++ and that brings me the code and now I can start adding things to my uh, I can start changing the code here. So this is the starter file that I'm giving you uh, and let's open this in the browser also. So let's minimize and let's double click on our file and so this is what I'm giving you and so what we need to do is start by creating the, in the text box which is our input box. So let's go back to our code. I'm going to start by going to line 19 right after the div, pressing enter twice um, and I'm just going to paste some code and then I'll explain it to you. So what I'm doing here, let me change some spacing here, what I'm doing in here is inserting a form tag. Uh, usually when we insert a text box or any of these different types of input boxes we include a form and the form usually has an ID tag. In this case we're using uh, my form as the ID tag if we ever want to reference it again. okay. Uh, now the next line of code, line 22, I am just typing in insert your name. And it's just a label with a break tag. Line 23 is the actual code for the text box. So I type in uh, open bracket input type equal sign in quotation marks text space ID equals and then in quotation marks F name quotation marks end bracket. So I'm not using the, the I'm using F name as my ID tag. A lot of people sometimes make the mistake and use the word uh, use name well, name is a keyword. It's a reserved word in JavaScript, and we don't want to we don't want to use the, a, a reserved word. Um, it'll mess up your program, and JavaScript thinks you're going to be doing something else. So we don't want to name variables or uh, IDs uh, and any elements. We don't want to name them uh, with the word name or any other reserved words. We'll look at reserved words in a later video. But for now, we'll use that F name. Line 24, we are closing our form. 
with a backslash. So make sure you're, you do spacing similar to mine. It's easier to see the code that way. And just for simplicity purposes, I also created some space here just to make it easy for us to see. But usually we don't have to have that type of space there. Okay. So let's save and let's view it on our browser. Refresh and great. Now we have the text box there. Let's go back to our code. And actually, let me mention one more thing. So our goal is that whenever someone types in their name here or types in something there, that is going to be saved in a variable. So that's what we want to do in our code. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that. So we'll click on line 7, and we'll start with the keyword VAR, or VAR. And notice how it changes colors. I press space, and now I'm going to type the name of my... Uh, my variable name. I mean, it could be anything that I want, you know, um, except for the reserved words. So I could put something like, you know, first name. Um, I'm, now I'm just going to use some examples here. Uh, I could type several, you know, um, several items here. I can even type item. So what I'm what I'm doing by creating uh, by typing this in is this is just an example I'm creating three different variables one variable is first name another variable is mid name another variable is item every time I create variable names and I, actually after every statement I want to put the semicolon typing the semicolon in there so this is how I create several uh, variables now for this example I'm just going to create one variable but in the future you may need to create several variables so that's how you do that okay I'm gonna press enter now I'm, I'm on line 8 so I just create the, the variable first name but it, there's nothing in there so what I want to do is make sure that I save whatever's in that text box I want to save it into this variable so that's what I'm going to do in this line of code. This line of code is very important. So I'm going to type first name is equal to document. And notice how it gives you the screen tip. I press tab document dot get element by ID. It's giving me the tip there again. That's one thing about Notepad++. Okay. Open quotation, uh, open parentheses, and notice how it closes it. Open quotation mark. Now, one thing I failed to mention is that I'm going to be capturing whatever's in that text box. So, if I go back to my HTML code down below, on my code for the input, the text box. Uh, let's just go over the code real quick. Input, that's the... I'm, I'm letting the... Um, I'm creating a tag that's an input tag and the type is a text box or text. And I'm giving the ID of F name. Okay, your your ID could be anything. Okay, F name, Al name. If you want to add another... Uh, if you want to have users put their last name, you can do that and you can put L name just to differentiate things okay you can put age if you want them to uh, insert the age okay so those are the different things you can do now I'm gonna re I'm gonna refer to this F name ID back in my in line 8 and I'm gonna type F name okay and from that F name element, I want the value. So I'm going to type period. I'm going to type the word value. And then I'm going to end my statement with a semicolon. Press save. Now I'm going to press enter. Now in line number nine, what I want to do is I want to place 
uh, the value of whatever was in that text box, actually whatever's in this variable first name, I want to output that into the message area of your HTML at the bottom. So the way we do that is we type document dot get element by ID open parenthesis quotation marks and I'm going to type message I'll go at the end dot inner HTML open parenthesis quotation marks and in here is where I can type in you know, first name and notice how it's even giving me that hint there all right and I always end my statement with a semicolon I press save let's take a look at our code see if it worked refresh okay I'll type my name submit uh oh it didn't work let's find out why let's go back to our code okay it didn't work because I forgot an equal sign right there uh, line number nine equal sign and actually now that I'm looking at my code I should not be using these quotation marks because it well actually let's run it like this so you could see what happens I'm gonna save it and let's t let's go to the, to the browser refresh I'll type my name and notice what happens in the output it says first name Huh, that's weird. Why? Why did that happen? Let's go back to our code. So notice the reason that occurred was because anything that's under quotation marks, that's what we call a string. Um, and it's basically a string is just text. So what I want to do is remove the quotation marks. Let's save it. Refresh. and there it is so now whatever I type in there I press submit and it comes out here but I want to do a little something extra so let's go back to our code I want to add a little more text here so within those parentheses I'm gonna start with a quote, uh, quotation double quotes I'll type in hello your name is I'll end the, the quotation I'll press space and then I'm going to use the plus sign I'll press space again and what this is doing when I use the plus sign what I'm doing is I'm I'm doing something called concatenation concatenation and what that means is you're appending you're appending something together. Um, you're combining two things together. Okay, so you'll be seeing a lot of this plus sign. Okay, uh, and so let's save our code and let's see what happens. Let's refresh. And there, the output, hello, your name is. Okay, that looks good. So one thing that I did for you guys already was the clear button. I accidentally left it, left the code the way it was. So when I clear it, it clears both. So let's just take a quick look at the code for that. So here is the function for the clear. It's called clear text. And the HTML code, you've seen it already. There's a, it's a button uh, using on click and it's using the clear text function and the clear text function is you've already seen how it removes it from uh, the message uh, paragraph ID in your HTML but the what you didn't notice was probably the document uh, line 13 document element by ID and I'm using within under quotation marks I'm using F name once again which is the ID for my text box 
and I'm using I'm including dot value equals quotation marks with you know nothing in there I'm not even I don't there's not even a space in there and a semicolon at the end okay so I'll save it once again and you get to see it once again and it clears it okay so this is the code thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video